Okay guys, I should have fixed this before, but I got a fuel leak on the Nissan Pathfinder. It'll barely barely even start. Uh, if you're picking this up, it's missing like crazy. It doesn't have the fuel pressure to stay running. And I'll show you why. She sprung a huge leak. Look at the gasoline coming out of there. You can see her. It's peeing right down there. Okay, as you can hear, it's not running very good. Fucking Harlander here and see the fuel leak. I can see. Well, maybe you can't see. It's pissing all over the place. So I'm not sure if it's the main line or the return line. We're going to replace the main line first and go from there. There it is. Okay, what I'm going to do here is since the, this thing is rusty, look at the frame on it. Um, is the body was rotted. I pulled this up with a pair of uh, pliers and we're going to redneck fix this fuel line. I'm going to get figure out which one's the main fuel and then I'm going to put this uh, auto transmission cooler line that I have laying around the garage from a transmission cooler or something. I'm going to attach it there. I'm going to run it right on the outside of the frame all the way down and we'll go from there hook it to the front as soon as I figure out which one it is. Okay, so some of, some of these Nissans have an access panel on the back to the fuel pump, so we're going to uh, have to empty all the weight out of it. Uh, we're going to rip this rug up, my trusty Kershaw, and I'll cut the carpet up and we'll see what we got under there. Okay, just as I suspected, when you rip all the carpet away, we have an access panel, which makes it a lot easier for me. Let's get that off. You can see it's probably not going to be too hard to take off, so I'll rust it. Okay, the lines at the pump are kind of rusty and I'm scared to touch them. Kind of afraid to touch them, so I'm going to have to go back underneath and figure out which one is the, the outlet and just cut the rubber hose and try to find a piece of copper and couple, couple of them together. It's the only way to do it, I think. Okay, I figured out which size uh, or which one was the fuel pressure side and hopefully I'm going to do this one first. I might end up doing the other one too. Um, the hose was too big, but the hose clamp should tighten down enough to seal it, I hope. <laughs> okay. Okay, as you can see, I've cut the fuel line here. and Hopefully I got the, run, the right one by midpoint, and I just run the rubber hose. Since this is just a plow truck and it's not going to be on the road, it doesn't. this will do me for a little while anyway until I get it to work and uh, tie strap all this up in place. And that, I guess. Anyway, let's see if it works. Okay, the fuel leak was part of the problem. As you see it's still missing. You hear a sucking noise under the hood here. Anything with a, like a, I'm going to call it a map sensor. I'm not sure what Nissan calls it. Um, air intake valve, sensor, whatever. You hear it hissing. These hoses get cracked over time. And it'll run like shit. You can hear the pitch of that change. I'm betting there's a crack underneath here somewhere. If I can find it, I'll tape it up. It's definitely got a vacuum leak. You can hear it. As I pull up on it harder, it runs better. I'm thinking this thing here is cracked, all the crap in the bottom. I'm going to let it warm up and see what happens. It's alive. It works. But uh, I don't know why I bother. There's not very much snow out here. Neighbors of military supposed to be looking after their property where they're gone, I guess. Anywho, guys, that's the redneck fuel line fix, I guess.